If you're going to go full-time into real estate investing, as Jason did, you have to flip. You have to transact. Yep. Now, the other thing I will tell you is at some point, you need to take every fourth house or fifth house or whatever that is and hold it. That's right. If you don't, you have a job. All righty, folks, we are asking millionaires key questions, questions you and I both want to know. We've got the one and only Jason Pritchard, and we're going to ask him, should you flip homes? What say you, Jason? Good question. I say yes, and I think you need to start. That's how I started, flipping houses first before I started buying rental properties. So good topic. I like it. Yeah, let's break this down, folks. Let's remind people, you know, Jason, you leave corporate America. You go full-time into real estate investing. Is that why flipping is so important? So you could kind of go out there, rebuild capital and, and keep it going? Or why is flipping the answer, was the answer for you? Yeah, so I, I'm going to insert, the. we have two different arms to our businesses. And I talk about this a lot. We have a transactional arm and then we have an investment arm. And the transactional arm are flipping, wholesaling, brokerage activities. It's when we do one deal and it creates a big chunk of money. And then we take that money and we put it into the investment side, which is buying rentals, doing things that create regular reoccurring income. And, I, and I'm a big proponent and you should be doing both. You have to have you have to have both of these things going on at the same time, because if you're too over leveraged on the investment side or too, you have too much flipping going on, right? I don't think it's a healthy balance. And so I think you start, and that's how I started. I probably flipped 50 or 60 houses before I bought my first rental. And it taught me a lot of different things. It taught me how to be a great deal finder, taught me how to raise money, taught me how to manage projects properly, right? All the things that you need to do uh, at least to buy rental properties the way that I did using the burst strategy. And so I definitely think um, it should be a tool in your toolbox if you want to be a successful investor. I love this story because again, my my path couldn't be more different than yours. Yeah. But if you step back and look at it, we did the same thing. What do I mean by that? So again, if people don't know my story, I was employed. I didn't flip a home till I retired, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's almost 20 years in the business, straight up buy and hold. I flipped one house completely by accident because of some government, this or that complete accident. But um, I was creating chunk money, which flipping for you was chunk money, right? You do a thing, you get a spread, you put it down. My career allowed me to generate quarterly chunk money. Yep. I was a fully commissioned sales rep, enterprise software. If I performed, I made big chunks of money. So that was my way of building chunk money. And then I, as you said, when you get chunk money, the way to game the system is you buy long-term assets that cash flow, and then you hold for decades. That's it right. is that simple, Easy. but it starts with building chunk money. Yeah. And I think it, there's lots of different ways to skin a cat guys. And so just pay attention. Zuber and I are basically talking about the same thing, right? You need to have something. It can be flipping a house. It can be high income earning W2 job, whatever it is, there has to be a vehicle that brings big chunks of cash in. And then that money needs to get redeployed into those assets. And so for me, when I left corporate America, I didn't have that, you know, I was, I was making good money in my W2 job, but I just, what we were talking about that in another video, I would not have been able to function I think successfully the way that you did working and then also doing that, knowing uh, enough about myself. And so I had to replace that income with something else. And so uh, if you're going to go full-time like me, and this is just going to be what you're going to do, I think you have to be open to doing both. You have to be flipping. You have to be doing something that's going to oh. like, that's going to bring that chunk money. And like you said, and then use that to buy your rentals. I, I want to agree a thousand percent. If you're going to go full-time into real estate investing, as Jason did, you have to flip, you have to transact. Yep. Now, the other thing I will tell you is at some point you need to take every fourth house or fifth house or whatever that is and hold it. That's right. If you don't, you have a job. Yeah, you, you just bought yourself another job. Yep. That's right. That's exactly right. And I, and I was fortunate enough early on, I, I got around going back to what we were talking about in another video, just relationships. I made relationships with some people that pointed that out to me very early on in the process. And I had had success and I had probably flipped maybe 15 or 20 houses. And as I started networking and building more relationships here in our market, I got around guys that were more buy and hold investors. And they told me exactly what you just said right now. It's like, you can keep doing this, but 
if you don't keep one out of every three or four houses that you do, you're basically just recreating another high income earning job. And then that's it. And we got really focused on buying rental properties and it takes delayed gratification to do that guys. And you have to be very intentional about this because the deals that we kept and we still continue to keep now, they typically are the very best deals, the ones that we're buying at the deepest discount. So we're leaving on the table, sometimes six figure plus spreads to say, Hey, we're going to hang on to this. Right. And in order to do that, in order to forego a hundred thousand dollar rip on a flip or whatever you're going to do, you have to have a pipeline full of other deals because then that way, you know, it's okay. We'll leave this money in the property for now because we've got three or four other deals that are going to replace that income that we're keeping in this deal here. And another reason why you need to be doing both at a high level. You've had it. You heard it here first. Do you need to flip? The answer is yes. Jason, where can people find you? jasonpritchard.com. Go there to connect, get free resources, everything that we use in our business every single day, completely for free. And then follow me on Instagram or Facebook, guys. That's where we share all the content about what we've got going on in our business on a day-to-day. -day. Awesome. Thank you so much.